As temperatures tick upward, the threat of a wildfire is all too real. KSBY News reporter Alexa Bertolo looked into what's being done to prepare for wildfires during this pandemic. Although fire officials are hopeful that the spread of COVID-19 will taper off soon, the outbreak has already forced Cal Fire Slow to make some changes. Preps for wildfire and COVID-19 are coinciding. It's caused a whole new wave of thinking um, how we're going to uh, react to that. Aircraft is back at the Paso Air Base after going through maintenance. Getting prepared for any fires that may start this week. And nearly two dozen seasonal firefighters have returned ready to go. We're taking temperatures, asking questions to see if they had symptoms of uh, COVID-19. And uh, we had to practice social distancing at our training center in Los Osos. The disease has delayed inspections of fire prone properties in San Luis Obispo County, but fire officials say people should be clearing that defensible space now. Over the past few years, the state has experienced some of its deadliest and most destructive wildfires ever, and it's required big numbers of firefighters to travel throughout California or come from other states to help. We don't want to have a COVID-19 outbreak within our fire camps. Another concern is preventing the spread of COVID-19 at evacuation centers that house families and others uprooted from their homes. We will open more shelters uh, if that's the direction we have to go so that we can have less people inside each shelter. The Red Cross will check temperatures at the door with volunteers wearing personal protective equipment. As soon as uh, COVID-19 really hit this area, we were already pivoting to how are we going to do this. The San Luis Obispo County Office of Emergency Services is also nailing down a plan. Obviously, if we have two different incidents going on at the same time, that's going to make for a very challenging situation. Alexa Bertola, KSBY News. With the recent history of wildfires in the state, Cal Fire no longer refers to a specific period as fire season, but instead calls it transitional and peak staffing.